Republicans are totally wimping out on the Constitution. The Constitution says only Congress can make war. Uh, a bill came before the Senate to say that Trump can't go to war with Iran without the approval of Congress. And guess what the Republicans did? Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Subscribe to our channel and please let your friends know about us. How do we take back the military from the billionaire-owned military-industrial complex? This is a, a uh, you know, I think a, a real and serious problem. Uh, Democrats in the Senate proposed legislation uh, over the last week or so saying that the, uh, you know, what, or this, this week actually, saying what the Constitution already says, which is that Donald Trump cannot go to war with Iran without the authorization of Congress. Now, you know, Article I of the Constitution which is the, the, the part of the Constitution that has to do with the, uh, uh, the, the, you know, Congress, basically, the House and Senate. Article I of the Constitution explicitly says that the war-making powers of the United States, I'm paraphrasing, are, are held exclusively by Congress. The president is the commander-in-chief of the military, just like the president, you know, is arguably the commander-in-chief of the FBI. But... He can only enforce, with the FBI, he can only enforce laws passed by Congress, and with the military, he can only fight wars that have been approved by Congress. Now, after 9-11, we got this authorization to use military force, the AUTM, that was really, really wide open. Anything, anywhere in the world that had to do with anything that was terrorist or 9-11, and it was just like, it was, you know, it was kind of a, a, you know, a Dick Cheney paradise kind of thing. And so... The Senate, the Democrats in the Senate said, let's just have a law, let's pass a law that says that if Donald Trump wants to go to war in Iran, if he wants to have a war so that he can, you know, whatever, so that he can distract the American public from, his, you know, finding out that he's not really a billionaire or if he's got other, who, who knows, you know, other Playboy models that he's covering things up with, who knows? But, you know, the, 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 the whole thing is if... If he wants to go to war, he can't, right? We're just not going to provide the funding. It ain't going to happen. And every Republican on the committee, except for Rand Paul, voted against this legislation that simply would have recognized what the Constitution says. This is what Bernie was talking about a minute ago, that these guys don't care about the Constitution. They don't care about the, the institutions of America, of our governance. They're, they're essentially spitting on the Constitution and on the, on the people throughout American history, from the founders to today's generation who have fought and died and bled and, and been terrified in various wars all around the world, um, you know, some of them defending the United States. All to do what? To placate Donald Trump, this, this crazed boy king, and to placate the billionaires from the military industrial complex. Now, mostly we see our legislation being warped by the petro billionaires, you know, the, the so-called Coke network, which they're reinventing now as a charity. You know, it's like our stronger together trust or something. They're kind of half borrowing some words from Hillary Clinton. Um, and, and, you know, we know about that impact because no Republican can mention the words climate change. They're afraid to acknowledge actual real science, what's happening all around. They're, you know, the, the tornadoes that we saw in Oklahoma, for example, the, all of this stuff, all of our weather. I mean, we've always had tornadoes. But because we have 6% more moisture in the atmosphere now than we had just 30 years ago, because of global warming, because the atmosphere is a degree warmer than it was 30 years ago, we're having much more serious storms. There's more moisture in the air. It makes more flooding. It also makes the air denser. It also makes, you know, and the air is warmer. And all of that just feeds storms. So you get tornadoes that are monster tornadoes instead of normal tornadoes and deadly killer tornadoes instead of just, eh, it's an inconvenience tornado. So that's what we're used to, right? I mean, <laughs> we're used to the Republican Party being warped by the petro billionaires, the people who make their money on, on uh, oil and coal and natural gas. Well, now they're being warped by the billionaires who make their money manufacturing tanks and airplanes and bombs and, and rocket fuel and rockets and, and ships and all this other kind of stuff. You know, the wealthiest zip code in the United States is not Beverly Hills. It is, it is you know, just on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. It's where these defense contractors live. 
and you know they're they're getting their money, our tax dollars. We spend more on defense than the next six countries combined. And and so you know that's that's where we're at. So uh, so anyhow, it's it, th this is I, I I just found it astonishing that in the Senate every single Republican, except for Rand Paul, voted against a piece of legislation that simply would have acknowledged that the Constitution says that the power to make war lies exclusively with the legislative branch. And that Trump can't have a war with Iran just because he wants to. It has to be authorized by Congress. And the Republicans fought this and it never made it even out of committee. It's amazing.